Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. So, I'm uh, very happy to, of course, be here. I'm so happy to be able to be here with someone who I just truly admire. He does such good work for people, human beings. He's a chiropractor who has found something uh, in addition to his chiropractic work and his acupuncture work, but he has found a fantastic laser which helps people uh, relieve their pain. So, okay, so you're now on Facebook Live. Good morning. Doc, yes, Good morning. Yes, Good morning. we have Dr. Philip Appleton here in the studio. He's great. He runs in here before he goes to work at uh, at his office. And you have to be there when at eight. No. Nine, nine, nine. You, give, you nine. have a little chance to give me a little get... relaxation before I start working again. <laughs> For sixth day today, so it's, it's right. It's, well, it's let, challenging. let me ask. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Sure. Um, you know, as a physician, what does it do for you? And and it's, I know it seems like it's a mundane question, but what does it actually do for you when someone comes in and they're hurting, and by the time you finish with them, they say, and do they say it that quickly? Wow, it really feels better. Well, like I changed my ads this my bye bye pain and when I do laser on patients who come in pain with they're on medication they're on injections they're suffering their life has been debilitated their life has been changed and they come in and I use my laser for them and they hug me when they get done mm. it's like a parent hugging you saying you got a good grade you really did well <laughs> you won the race you, you won the game with the last dunk it's the most exciting thing that can happen. I've been doing this a lot of years. I've been doing this over 38 years. But you haven't been doing it with the lasers. No, the lasers, the lasers I've been doing for 15. But, but let's the, move back. Okay, before. let's go back in time. I want to go let's back go before back in time. you had the laser. Okay. So people came in to you also for health? Yeah, they came in for chiropractic care. Uh, I do a lot of physical therapy, and I do acupuncture. So that was, that was the, the, the massive part of my practice. And then over the years, you know, things change, you, you know, one day when a gentleman came in one day to sell equipment which they do all the time and he says a laser and i had no idea what a laser was you know this is 15 years ago he said just try it for a week or two i'll leave it here and let me know how it is but did he swim it did he explain what it what it was oh we went through a detail bought a video about how the monocle how the changes in the blood and the oxygen and the blood flow and i said what i got to lose so i decided that let me try it and back then it was a, called the level one, and I went in maybe a quarter of an inch, and you worked on one area. And then about a couple of years later, he comes back and shows me new videos, and look at the new technology we have. It's bigger, it's warmer, you know. So it was a level two. So I tried doing the level two, and that went maybe three quarters of an inch in. And you don't feel it, it's light therapy, so it's no injections, there's no blood being drawn. So I got really good results. Then, I, he comes back again a couple years later, and he goes, they modified it to a level three. Okay, threw the other two away and got a new one. And that went on about an, almost an inch in. But again, you only can work on one spot, one area for the time it's on. Okay, so now this whole laser, you know, we have lasers for all sorts of things. It gets rid of fat. It Hair gets, removal, yeah, yeah, right. surgeries, eye so surgery, everything. So what is this laser all so about? This one, so this one, when I found this one, it's a robotic laser. So like, say for example, you have your knee and you have pain on, in your knee or on the right side, the left side, or the front, the back. And what this does, it constantly moves, it's a robot. So the laser is constantly moving around, not just in that one spot where the pain is or the swelling is, it's going to other areas that are also affected. And it goes in about two, three inches in, it increases blood circulation and oxygen. Mm -hmm. And you wear goggles, you know, if you, if you, if you, they're having a knee or extremity, the patient wears goggles to protect their eyes. But the, most of the patients lie down for the low back, stenosis, arthritis, tendonitis, sciatica, sciatica which is a big one. Late in the last two weeks, I've been having so many cases. I want to go back in. to that after you talk. Yeah, when they yeah, talk yeah. all about sciatica. Oh, yeah, okay. it, it's not an enjoyable thing. It's much better to go out for well, dinner. Well, what, uh, <laughs> what actually, well, let's just then stop for a minute. What actually is sciatica? Sciatica is an impingement of a nerve. It's the largest nerve in the body. If you look at your thumb, look at your thumb, you see how wide your thumb is, that's how big the nerve is. And it goes about two and a half feet. It goes from your low back and it can go all the way to your little toes. It can go to your knee, 
it can go to your hip, it can go to your groin. It depends where the nerve is being impinged from the lumbar spine. Now, sciatica can become from a disc problem, a herniation, a bulging disc, stenosis, arthritis, tendonitis, you know, all these things that can cause injury and swelling to the nerve. And the nerve, of course, gets t shut off, and that's when the pain or numbness goes down. Uh, yesterday, I had a woman come in yesterday crying in pain that she has dual sciatica She's from New Jersey. I treated her a bunch of years ago chiropractically, but she was in tears. And I said to her, let me try laser. Well, what's that? Sit and watch my video, learn, and I'll come back. When I came back five minutes later, she goes, I want that. I put her on the table. She lied down for 30 minutes. She got off the table and she said, I'm not crying. I still have it, but the intensity is gone. When can I come back? I said, Saturday morning, you come back again. So when I come back at nine, she'll be there. But you know, it's the most amazing, amazing thing that when the, everybody comes in for pain, I only treat pain, that's all I treat. I don't do skin, I don't do hair, I don't do eyes, I just do pain. And the laser seems to be really effective to, on a lot of people. Well, I'm gonna take a minute now so that I can help people. If you want to feel like this woman felt, and you want to really meet Dr. Appleton, this is the phone number. Remember, this is Pencil Talk Radio. So write this number down. It's 954-973-0710. Again, 954-973-0710. And if you go on the web, you'll be able to see a lot more. It's AppletonCairo.com. A-P-P-L-E. T O N C H I R O dot com. So I suggest that uh, you should probably make an appointment, but at this point, I guess they could just pop in. Oh, if people, they had to. people pop in all the time, all the time. <laughs> I'm right next to Palm Air, the wonderful world of Palm Air. So people, well, most people know where that is on Power Line Road, so it's not far from anywhere. Well, I'm going to give an address sure. too. It's 1215 hmm. South Power Line Road. So get Alexa to help you. If you need directions, true, true. 1215 South Power Line Road, Pompano Beach, 33069. The nice thing is that he works all the time, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday. He has different times he's there. So you have to call just to make sure. And he is there on Saturdays, which he's going to go right now from 9 to 12. So if you have any kind of pain, you can get started at least this morning. He'll squeeze you in. He's that kind of a guy that... He isn't going to let you walk away if you're in pain, even if he has to stay another, you know, 15 minutes Absolutely, or so. absolutely. Phone number again, 954-973-0710. Richard, uh, see, someone, someone is uh, calling in. Okay. Um, so, um, let me just uh, go back to you about when you were talking about sciatica. W w well, how does someone just get it? Have, did they fall or did something happen? Bending over, tying a shoelace. Bending over, lifting a child, coughing, sneezing, degeneration, really? sports, activities, uh, carrying something too heavy, deterioration of the spine, older, younger. I have people who are young have sciatica. I have people who are old have sciatica. I have, it's just amazing how many people have sciatica and low back. And when they come to me and they bring me, you know, they, they bring me the MRI report and I can look at that and I read it. And usually the word that's always in the lumbar diagnosis of an MRI report is stenosis. Mm -hmm. Years ago, this word wasn't around. You know, it was arthritis. But now this word's mm -hmm. really, really around a lot. And it's stenosis. And I had a woman yesterday also, she, no, he's a football player, sorry. He had, he played for the Redskins, he's a character. And uh, he's 80 years old. And I said to him yesterday, I said, what's this scar in your mid-back? He said, oh, they did surgery on me to remove my stenosis. So I said, oh, that's interesting. Did it help you? He goes, well, at the time it did, but doc, now I'm here with you, and now I'm, I'm getting improvement from my low back with him. And he has stenosis in his lumbar spine. He has sciatica and groin pain from the lumbar spine. He's a big guy, he's like 6'4", about 240, he's a lo lovely man, and he Can talk, you help him? He, you know, he talks to me like, you know the movie, um, Analyze This? Yes. With, with De Niro oh, and yes. Billy Crystal? Oh, I love that. Right, right, I love that movie, right? And he's a character. You know, I treated him like five, six times on one set of treatments 
which is a package of 10 treatments when patients come in, especially when they have chronic problems. I said, I can't treat, I can't fix you in one visit. Nobody can. You have to give me time. So he, was, he gave me about 10 visits. He said, all right, on the seventh visit, he, he was responding, but not as responding as I wanted him to. So I started doing acupuncture with the laser, which means that I'm doing the acupuncture as the laser is on top of the needles. Not, oh. not, not exactly on the needles, but the light therapy is going above the needles and penetrating the area. Now, why are you doing it that way? To, that... to base, well, I do that so I can increase the energy flow and change the energy flow of the body. That's what the yin and the yang and the acupuncture is all about. You're changing the energy. Then I have the laser that's increasing blood flow and oxygen. So he, le he leaves and he says to me, Doc, I think I'm better today. <laughs> I think I'm better. Right? So he comes back two days later and he's, he's, he's a Brooklyn, Italian, wonderful human being. So, and he talks like an Italian from, Brook from the Bronx, you know? And I just love the man. I'm afraid of him because he's bigger than me, but uh, he's older so I can run faster. But you have a couple of people watching you. Uh, so yesterday, um, he comes in yesterday and he says to me, Doc, you're good. And it reminded me of the Billy Crystal when De Niro said that. <laughs> and, he go, and he keeps on saying that to me. He goes, Aww. no, Doc, you're really good. <laughs> I've been in pain for so many, so many years. And we finished up the 10th series. And he says, I want to come back for another 10. And I went out in the lobby and I, I spoke to his wife. And he goes, I just want to tell you, whatever you're doing to him, He's happier. He's not grumpy. He's ha he's nice to be with because he's not in pain. Pain changes everything of your life. Sitting, bending, turning, twisting, laughing, going to dinner, going to movies, going to a show, walking in the mall, doing anything. Pain is debilitating. And in America, especially in America, the amount of people that are on drugs, that they're drugging America, and that doesn't fix the pain. That covers the pain up. It's like well, that's a good point. It's like, Wait, it's say like, that again. That's very it, important that you just said that. It doesn't fix the problem. It just covers it up. Huh. Like we're looking out the window now. Beautiful day. But if you would close those curtains, I couldn't see the view. And that's what the medication basically does. It shuts it down, but then you have all these side effects. Constipation. All pain all the time with constipation. You, you have stomach problems, your appetite goes down, your mood goes down, your whole body changes from pain. Yes, yeah, some medications are good for you, absolutely. And I agree 100%. When my dear uh, mother-in-law was passed away from cancer, she was on morphine. Couldn't even touch the pain because the pain was so intense. And the, more, and the more morphine, as you well know, makes you start to drown in your own fluids. Yeah. Because you're in pain, you take yeah. the bad stuff to make you feel better, but then the side effect, and that was very sad, and I'm sure Eileen's crying now, I'm sorry. But, but, but yeah, you know, it's a, it's a circle of life. I feel bad, but like, people have to understand that there's other ways in life to get care. There's definitely other ways. Am I the only answer? No, I'm not. There's orthopedists, there's neurologists, there's other fine doctors out there. But try this. How, like, when Trump ran years ago, he said, what do you got to lose? What do you got to lose? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. There's no side effects. There's no burns. There's no rashes. If you have a TENS unit, or no, I'm sorry, a pacemaker, you have a fibrillator that's in you, or electric sim machine in can you. Can you still do this? I can still do it because it's light therapy. I'm not putting any pulsation on you. Ah. I'm not putting any pulsation on you. I'm treating a nurse who has an electric stem built into her for pain. So really? she was in an accident coming out of Palmyra a few a few weeks ago, and she came and she goes, I don't know why I'm here. Nothing's broken, but I'm in pain. But I don't know why I'm here. She's an old time nurse. Well, I treated her about two weeks now with the laser in her legs. I'm not near the electric stem machine, and she comes now and happy and she's joyful. It's like a different person. Yeah. When she came in, she was like. You know, who, well, that, well, who was that nurse? Or nurse Ratchet from, oh, yeah. you know, One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest? Oh, yeah, when right. she came in like that, I said, you have to be a little more positive. <laughs> you've, been a, you've been a nurse for 38, 40 right. years. You have to understand what this is doing. 
and she's you know she's was a surgical nurse, so she didn't really understand that you're gonna have a light on you, and this light's gonna make you feel better, and you don't feel anything. Now she loves it. She lives across the street in Palm Air. She comes three times a week. Doc, can you do my ankle today? Can you do my knee today? Can you do my shoulder today? She's so into it now, but in the beginning it was like, oh, she's so negative. It's not gonna help her, you know. But she made that turn. And, Laura Belgrave yeah. is watching you now, and Laura is a she's a, a novelist. She's an author and all. She's oh, that's very, cool. Yep, she's uh, she's there. But let let me just keep going with this. So, um, as you said, you know, pain is is interesting. You talked about stenosis, but it's our sciatica. What other kind of you know what happens when you have carpal tunnel? Are you able to help people with that? People call me or come in for a lot of different things. You know, I can't help everything. Carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, TMJ, shoulder, bursitis, tendonitis, arthritis, knee problems. A lot of knee problems. People come in with knees. Ankle. I had a new patient come in yesterday who was referred from another patient from Palm Air, and she has ankle pain. She's been to surgeons. She's been with injections. She's been on pain medication, and she and the and the husband said to me, please. As many treatments as she needs. Can she come every day? I said, no, I like to have a day of rest, a day of treatment, a day of rest. I have a, I have a, a testimonial from a woman from Canada who is visiting her parents in Palm Air. I just want to play the video Please. so you can hear it. Okay, sure. It's very cool, and she's, I think you'll get a lot from her. And you have to put it up to yes. the microphone. Hi, my name is Mariah, and I'm from Canada. My sister comes to Dr. A, and when I came to visit her, um, she told me about Dr. A and the cold laser therapy that he offers. I've been in chronic back pain for 22 years. I've had opioids for 22 years. I've done exercise, everything you could possibly imagine, until I came and got treated by Dr. A and the cold laser therapy that he offers. I can happily tell you for the first time in 22 years, I'm pain free. I'm pain free. So all I have to say is thank you so much for Dr. A and you should try it. And she calls she calls Dr. A, not Dr. Appleton. Oh, right? people call me Phil, people call me <laughs> Doc, people call me Bubbler. People, <laughs> people, people, people forget my name. It's just the most amazing thing. But the most important thing is yeah, they, they're in my right, office right. and they're treating. I treated her parents and they were she came down with her sister and the sister said my other sister's coming down, this one that just did the testimonial, she's in serious pain. I don't think you can help her. I don't think you can help her, but she's willing to try. And you heard this, I heard and you heard this. I and heard I have it. video and video of other people. I have, I have a woman that I treated with her knee. She walked in with a cane after three, four treatments, and in the video you can see she throws the cane away. I have people- We have to put that on our website, uh, actually. We'll talk about doing that, because we, we can put your video oh, as yours okay. on our website. Okay. So we'll get that. But, but it's very exciting, you know, when I see this and I hear yeah, this, it's very exciting. Because don't forget, no drugs, no injections, no no medication, and, they, and they're getting healed by the light therapy. Yeah, that, that but you have to know amazing. how to do this. But you see, it, it took me a long time to be expert with this. Because you have to, it takes a long time. Like a chef. Does a chef become a pot, top chef overnight? No. Experience. Yes, maybe as I got older and I love this so much, that helps a lot in my life. But I see what the improvement is. I see when they come into me. I see when I talk to them. I see the pain in their eyes. I see that a lot of times they came to talk, their spouse has to talk to me. So you put this, this light goes right directly on their skin. And you go, well, not on the skin. It's about three, about six, seven inches off the skin. But it goes skin. directly to yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, and, ro and it rotates. It ro constantly rotates. You know, it's a red beam because the it laser's red, you know, and then there's like, you can't see the laser because it's so fast. Your eye can't pick it up. So you just see a red beam. And like a woman yesterday um, said to me, I feel warmth, I feel relaxation. But then I have other people, they don't feel anything. You know, I do. I treat. I treat myself a lot of times, and I was going to ask you that. Yeah, so I, yeah, yeah. I'll lie there. Like today, I my knees hurting me a little bit, 
And when my my face was all done today, I'll put my goggles on, I'll put the music on, and I'll do my I'll do like a half hour treatment on my knee to You me. see, because as a chiropractor, you're really in a lot of stress yourself. I mean, having to move people around, all that you do, and, and also, you're a six day... Uh, Maniac. I'm a six day maniac. Six day physician, which there are not many of you. No, no. Many many doctors work around their schedule. I work around my patient's schedule. I know it. It's beautiful. Because I care. When you care, it's the most amazing thing. In anything in life. Have you gone to a restaurant and the service is magnificent because the care. You go to another restaurant, the service, you have to look for like my Tonto and out in the Long Ranger, you know, out in the desert somewhere, <laughs> and you don't know where they are. Yeah, yeah, but, right. but if you care, you care, right. it comes through so much. I know. My patients love me because I'm true, I'm, I'm, I'm the person I was when I first started, probably better now. Because they really understand pain more now than I ever did before. Well, and as a chiropractor, you could only do so much. You tried to get someone with sciatica you, or stenosis. You could only do so much. And then what happens? Nothing. But but you did train yourself in acupuncture. And I admire you for that, too, because I, uh, acupuncture does help people. But you have, you know, when you take the classes and you t get certified, you have to learn to do it. And you have to experience what works, what doesn't work. Like, I don't know, a few weeks ago I told you that a man comes in and wants acupuncture for weight loss. And I said to him, I don't do that anymore. I did that years ago, and I really don't think it, a benefit was there. So he said, you're turning me away? I said, no, I'm not turning away. I'm just explaining to you that I'd rather treat you for stenosis, sciatica, a shoulder problem. And then a few days later, he brought his wife. He goes, I was so impressed with you that you turned me down and you were so honest with me. Because that's what I am. I'm honest. You know, a lot of doctors are very upfront with their patients. I have a urologist in Boca Raton here. He is magnificent. Um, it, because he cares. He sits down with you. He looks in your eye to eye. You know, a lot of doctors don't even look at you. A lot of doctors don't even touch you. A lot of doctors don't even know anything, basically. They, but they... They have the secretary or nurse just write a script. Seriously, write the script, write the script. You know, that's the way they are. But then there's other doctors who really care, and those ones you should never let go. And so yeah. this happened. This is in your, as I just interviewed the, the previous physician who now is turned author and uh, Arthur Bloom. It's in your DNA, isn't it, for you? It's really in your DNA to want to help people. I just feel that from you. When I was nine, ten years old, I volunteered my time in a kitchen in a nursing home. So because I wanted not to get in trouble and I wanted to stay warm and I wanted to see what there was all about this nursing home. It's a few blocks from where I grew up. So after school I would go back in the kitchen and I would knock on the door and I asked them if I could help. And I was like nine, ten years old, you know, what am I what I order you know, I wasn't looking for a job, I was looking to help. And I learned to work with people in the kitchen. And that's where, it's like the engine room of a building, engine room of a ship. You learn to work with people. And I think I learned to work with people from every race in the world because I learned that as a young, as a young child that everybody's equal. And everyone, when you look at them, are the same. And that is probably my success in my life because I look at everybody as the same. I don't look at anybody different. And people say that to me. And I, I accept them. Don't forget, every day, every day I have a new person in front. Yes, I have my regular patients every day, but every day I'm greeting with a new patient. I was sitting in Dr. Appleton's office and I did see the diversity of people coming into you and they were all, so when they, I didn't see them go in when they came out, they had a smile on their face and, and also your staff are wonderful. Well, I try, I try to make it where it's a home feeling I don't wear white, I don't wear scrubs, I don't wear a lab jacket with my name on it. Everybody coming to me knows who I am. You know, most doctors have their names on it, you know, because most people don't know the doctor's name. You know, that's true, you know, that's, <laughs> that's true. I thought about <laughs> no, that's true, right? Everybody knows me, everybody hugs me, talks to me, everybody shakes my hand, A lot, we, people kiss me, they hug me, <laughs> they bring their children to my office when they come for the treatment. You know, I'm, I welcome everybody. Oh wait, you just brought up a point. Children, 
Uh, do you ever treat children? Yeah, I treat children here and there. I I treat children. I do I do treat people with laser for children, like a sports injury, a shoulder. I did my nephew. I did my niece. Uh, she played volleyball for FAU, and she hurt her shoulder, and she knows that not to go with the medical route, but to go with chiropractic or laser, and she knows how quick she gets well. And my nephew, too, he plays basketball three, four days a week in the leagues, and when he hurts his knees or low back, he come, he'll come in for a laser treatment. He's 14 and responds wonderful. But that's acute. See, a lot of people, when they play golf or tennis, or, or you wake up in the morning, oh, my shoulder, my back, you can come in for a few treatments, and then they mo most likely respond really quick. But when you have a problem for a long, long time, and you've been injected, you've been have surgery, and it just stays there, and it takes a long time to get okay, that I want to make sure that everybody who's listening... Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I want to do this again. So we're talking at Bye Bye Pain, and it's Dr. Philip Appleton, and the phone number to call is 954-973-0710. 954-973-0710. And the website is appletoncairo.com. Appleton, A P P L E T O N, Cairo.com. And he's located there at 1215 South Power Line Road, Pompano Beach. Uh, and Florida. so we have, uh, we have another, another person that just uh, has popped up on our, our uh, Facebook. Um, you know, I think if we had you on for an hour, we'd have a lot more we probably would. people. We probably would. Yeah. We probably would. <laughs> right. Well, now we're. It's more than a show. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's <laughs> happened. That's happened. Well, we certainly hope uh, that people will consider this. No injections, no drugs, no surgery, no downtown, downtime, but mostly Dr. Philip Appleton, and he is, he is quite something. He's a he's a rare physician, and I really appreciate coming, thank you. having thank you, you come on the show thank and you. and being in Boomer Times. It's very important for people to know you. And so we look forward to uh, having you come in again. And I hope that you uh, uh, make Thank a lot of people Thank you very much. You know, feel Hopefully good. everybody has a happy and healthy holiday where they won't need my services. But if you do, call 954 973 0710. Dr. Phil Appleton, and, 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 and you thank will, you very you much. you will be around for the holiday today. Oh, I'm so. here. I'm here. I work at, I'm, more, I'm here. <laughs> Close Christmas family, Eve. <laughs> yeah, you have a family up north, and you're, and uh, so anyway, thanks no, for being good. here. No, we're good. Everybody stay happy and healthy. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much thank for you. being here.